be fair, it's not even midnight yet, so we might don't need to whisper. Um, okay, I know the quality is shit and the lighting is shit. I've just moved into my new room and I don't have any, like, I don't have my lamp set up, I don't have my fairy light set up, I don't have my LED set up, so this is, like, this is it. I've literally changed my YouTube um, display from, because I always have it on a dark background, and I've changed it back to, the, like, the white just to give me more, like, more lighting. But, um, you guys, so this is my first night in my new house and i'm not even joking i generally feel like it's like a massive new beginning new new chapter for so many reasons for me so i'm gonna start the vlog here and yeah that's literally all i had to say <laughs> on that note i'm probably gonna watch some shit and like try and slow down i am feeling a little bit like not eerie because like i'm more excited to be in this house than like but you know how like for your first time in, in the new room you have to like get like re, re like settled and it's because i fucking like it's because i know like i know like how social this house my voice i'm so sorry it's because i literally know how social and how many memories i'm gonna have in this house in this room that's kind of like giving me the, like pre like jitters and stuff like i know how good this year is gonna be so i'm like getting like kind of freaked out by just like having my first moments in this room but i need to set myself in That's what I'm gonna say. I'm not gonna keep going. Okay, I'm gonna now change my background back to black because I hate, I hate the light um theme on YouTube. Sick. Literally, what I do to try and get good lighting. Okay, good night. You know how when you move into a new place, you have to like see like where your like nearest like shop is, all that stuff. So I was walking down, and then I re I saw that we have our like premiere or like a how do you pronounce it? It's like a premiere, whatever. Go. So they had. A nine pack of toilet paper for 89 pence. This is unheard of, unheard of, and it's been this way from my house. What location? The only issue though, <laughs> I hate, hate, the only good thing is that I'm actually on my way to work, so I'm like doing something about it. But even 89 pence is like technically cheap enough for me at the minute because I only have 30 pence on my card. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I'm home alone for the first time since moving in. Faye, ah, Faye just um, went work. Is my window too bright? Oh, I know, I should be facing the opposite way, innit? Okay. So I'm in my new room and I still need to get used to like where to. Okay, my towel can just be there. To be fair, my towel was always in my videos. First, I'm being home alone, so this is how this is how I'm gonna entertain myself for the first like five, ten minutes. Then I actually find something to do for my day. My voice also. Apologies for that. Um, I think I'm ill. I don't know. I think I, I'm so croaky as well. But oh my god. So as you know, I went to work yesterday. Oh, you guys are so high up. Okay. Um, I've nearly been, this is, I'm making this such a big announcement, it's really not that big. It's just big in the sense that I made four, like nearly four years. So I started working in Fernandez when I was 17 in like October time. It's August and I'm now 22. Um, so it's been three years and ten months. Um, and I've rocked a trainee top for, sorry I can't comfy. And I've literally rocked a tra trainee top for that whole time. I wasn't a trainee this whole time, okay? I literally, sorry, I live on a busy road now as well, by the way. It's like busy in my last road. It's like a proper, like, high street road. Anyways, um, I could close my window. Okay, um, yeah, so I literally passed my, like, trainee thing within, like, I don't know, a month or however long you meant to do it, probation, time, whatever. And I've had, um, a trainee top the whole time. Yesterday, I guess, yesterday's shift, I finally got my official... Nando's uniform without the like trainee bit because the, the uniform I wear now is literally this t-shirt but it says like trainee on it and I was like oh my god I finally like made it so now I can walk out of that because okay the only reason I'll say that so the pros and cons of having my tra trainee top over the last three years and ten months was a I don't work like loads I'd say so whenever I'd go in and I don't really go to staff meetings so whenever I go in something would be changed and like customers like this and i'm like i actually don't know how to help you so i'm like oh it's okay like you're a trainee and i'll be like haha like yeah and then i'll go and like get someone else and just like play up to being a trainee not knowing what i'm doing because i don't know what i'm doing so that was a pro a slight con which didn't jar me it just jarred me when like they would be rude about it they would think that i'm newer than them because i'm wearing a trainee top 
um, and they really like down talk me like patronize me and just like try to like show me how to do things like show me how to close and stuff and I'd be there like I've come up to four years like it's okay um, but obviously like they don't know that but at the same time when there's someone new and I'm on shift I don't talk shit like talk down to them anyway so I don't know it's kind of just shitty shitty work dynamics but now that I've got my official Nando's uniform I feel like I've made it <clears throat> but um also speaking of work yesterday I felt so grateful to have a job because I was literally like um before ah, oh, this is kind of this is actually mad rude of fucking Nando's to do it this way basically before I, I turned up a girl got fired and she opened so <clears throat> So she was shifted, shifted, so she was voted to come and open the store. She did her open. Once she finished, they then fired her to her face. And I'm there like, I couldn't believe that they fired her. But they made her come in and open. That is actually a piss, that's actually the rudest thing for Nanis to actually do. Like if, you, if you're gonna fire her, don't make her come in and open your store just because you don't have anyone else to come and open. I, I don't know, it was actually kind of mad, but then, the, the, like, since I, I heard that, I was like, I'm gonna, like, do a really good shift, I'm gonna, like, work really hard, because I was like, I'm next, I'm fully next, I'm not, like, I would never say that I'm, like, the best worker, I don't really strive myself to be the best worker either, I'm not trying to, like, get promoted or anything like that, and because, I don't know, my <coughs> attention is on other things outside of Nando's, I honestly just go to work just to have some, like, social interaction, that sounds like I have no friends. I, I, I like to go to work just to have the like, you know, like, I don't know, like customers, I don't know, like it's nice interaction at work. It keeps you like humble and like in the real world and stuff, like working, like a labour job and closing and stuff. It really keeps me like, I don't know. It's made me feel really, like really grateful to have a job now. And um, low-key they can't fire me because I'm a transfer. Next story, right, so... So I don't know why, and, like so much happened at work yesterday, which is, I don't know how to say. When I was closing, also that noise is me playing with this, and there's a straw, in, a male straw inside this. But anyways, um, when I was closing last night, I was closing sources, yada, yada and I, I left a water glass with a straw, like a paper straw in it, because like I just keep choking up. Um, and then a fucking customer, he's like helping himself to like drinks my cup is like out of the way by the way it's like behind the like drinks m machine just for like stuff and like it obviously looks like it's not like it's it's, per it's purposely placed out the way and then there's a whole rack or whatever of like customer straws there and i'm literally closing sources and i literally look and he literally i'm not kidding you takes my straw from my water glass for himself, <clears throat> for himself, he literally is saying to it to his mate that he he needs a straw, and, and then he takes my used straw for my water glass. Our straws, which are for customers, I'm it actually jarred me out. My the straws which are for customers is literally in like brown wrapping. It's not just a loose fucking straw in a water glass. Who does that, especially during COVID? I'm just like, why the fuck is he like tampering with my water and my straw? I had to literally stop closing my sources, go and bin the straw that he was like, he literally picked it up and put it into his own drink and then his mate was like, oh, and then he like put it back and was just being weird. I then had to bin my straw because he decided to fucking borrow it. And then I had to like tip out my fucking water as well and make myself a whole new water and get myself a whole new straw. I know it's not that deep, but I was just like, in all of my time, why has this just happened? Like that just doesn't happen. Like we're in society you don't take a used straw and use it for yourself. Yeah, that's how my shift ended. But yeah, I'm, I'm not working now until Friday. <sighs> oh, onto something a bit more exciting. We've got our timetable. I had no idea and then the, the girls downstairs like told my their timetable, I was like, hold on, we have our timetable. So I was just like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, I've already got my timetable. So, I have two modules this term. Should I change the camera angle to just like spice things up? There you go, we've now moved on to another topic, right? Another camera angle. This is so worse. Okay. So, we're moving on now, not talking about nouns anymore. And the camera angle means new topic. God, it's so lame. Um, but yeah, so I. 
that to say by the way because I don't know what I'm doing because I, I don't know what I'm reading <clears throat> Okay, so I have two modules this term. Animal, oh, my throat. Intelligence in animals and machines and neuronal transduction and transmission. And then I have my third year dissertation, which I still don't know what it's on. It's on cancer. It's either on how cancer spreads from the primary location to other parts of the, the, the body, the like escalation phase or it's going to be on the immune response within the, the blood, how it responds to cancer. It's one of those two, hopefully, because there's a third option that I really, really cannot do. It's more on the like the, the like treatment and the applications of treatment, which, yeah, great. We need that part, but it's just not going to like get me excited to go library to study that. My timetable looks so empty, but realistically, I'll just be in the library like doing... Um, What's it called when you do it yourself? Independent study. I'll just be in the library doing an independent study anyways. But um, this is my timetable. Get a timetable is so exciting because you can then like plan your life and like, think about how your life's going to be. So Monday morning 9am, so I've got a lecture. And yes, I will make every single 9am. I don't care. Um, that is literally me like gassing myself up. Like you need to like become a morning person. So basically my timetable is basically very empty. From week two, it actually like simmers down a bit. And then... I literally that is how my timetable looks for basically the whole term just three things and then sometimes there's an added seminar here and there but I basically plan to do Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday from like morning to like night time like this 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 and then Wednesday's off Saturday's off Sunday work so I don't tire myself out and um, I'm gonna look how funny all I've been doing lately is watching um, ASMR and um, eating videos oh my god I swear I'm ill again but Okay, so I just got back from work. I swear this whole vlog is about nanas because basically I didn't know that I was working today. Um oh it was my first it was my first shift with my um, actual t-shirt. Look. I literally didn't know that I was working. I was in bed with Faye today, and then I get a phone call, and then our like managers our manager, and then my my manager's like, Do you not know that you're working today? I was like, oh my god, like, I didn't know this because basically Long, I think it's because so they put me on to work Saturdays. I told them my availability is not for Saturdays because my dad's coming, but it's my availability in general. I don't do Saturdays, and then they wrote me for Saturdays. So I, I was like, mm, like, hi, I've just noticed that I've been voted for a Saturday, but I said on my availability I don't do Saturdays, so I can't make the shift. But happy to do it any other day, and then they then put me on to today thursday but i my app i'm like locked out of my app which is just a whole other thing which they couldn't even fix for me today two managers have, have tried to fix it two managers have tried to fix my app thing can't fix it so every time i go and like get my like staff discount in like nando's i have like shown my like receipts from my like halifax bank statement to prove that i work then they always think i'm sus because i can't log into our like rotor app so i, I always take photo this is like a long story now so i always have to take photo <coughs> I'm so ill still. So I always have to take photos of the rotor when I go to work and then when it updates on the app, I don't know, hence why I didn't know about my shift today. And then I'm like, okay, like I'll I'll be there like as soon as soon as possible. So I get there for like six forty five or something. Um which is also why I then didn't get food. So I was starving the whole shift. I was like, I need dinner because I I finished at ten. Oh, but then so when I when I'd done my shift, I literally got a double wrap medium with halloumi. So now I'm satisfied. And then we had so much free food. So I, and I was like, oh my god, like, the girls are going to be so gassed that I've like, brought back food. Because like, like, they asked, but they're out. I literally came back and like, no one's here. I've literally got in here oh, so long because basically, it's so peak. Because basically, my backpack, my backpack is so small. When I bought it, my mum was like, you're not going to fit any of your books in there. But I did year 11 with this bag on my shoulder. And then I would carry my A4 books my science books and that because it was only my math books my math book was small my math book was small so I could fit it in there every other book I would hold it in my hand and just like I'd go to, to the lockers and I would put my my all of my books for school in my lockers just because I thought this bag was so cute that I had to have it and my mum was like you won't fit anything in there fast forward to like five six years on now Raj are uh, like to be fair, he's not our griller but like he's on grills whatever tried to like make me like a large box of like chicken and I'm there like I can't take it home like I can't fit it so I got this like medium-ish box there's like three butterflies in here and like I think like 10 thighs 
So I was like, this will do me for the week because I'm so broke at the minute. Um, oh, and, oh, I feel so antisocial for this as well, though. But, and then I also got a beer back. Thank you, Emilio, best manager ever. I've never, no manager has ever let us take alcohol. Yeah, no manager has ever let us like take the Nando's alcohol. We can like we've drank in the store before, but like we've we've drank in the store before, but we'll buy our own alcohol kind of thing. It's the first time I've been allowed to just take one out of the fridge, like finish a shift. But I'm so antisocial. Like when when I was like leaving, so I was eating my like wrap, da da da. I was like, I've been here long enough. Like I just want to go home now. And then they're like boys like sat out there like drinking. And then they're like, oh, like grab one and like drink. And then I was like, oh, I'm tired. But the whole time I had one in my bag, like I already had my beer. And I was just like chatting shit because I just didn't want to sit down and like socialise more because they're just like sat there like it's half ten and it's like I get it's, it's cute and stuff to like be part of the team and all. I had a really good ship shape though. I yeah, everyone was like really good but I was like it's half ten I'm, I'm here again tomorrow. I don't want to sit here and like have the beer. So I'm going to like... Well I thought the girls would be here so they'll be drinking. And I'm not hungry now to eat this. I'm going to put this in the fridge. I'm sure they'll have some as well tomorrow and then I'm gonna just like drink my beer and watch some YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, to be fair, it's not really that bad of a night. Wait, where's... Ooh, Faye just said come meet them. Beer, YouTube, go... Wait, I don't know what they're doing though. What time is it? I need to put my watch on. But... So yeah, that's basically my updates. Um. This vlog has literally become a Nando's vlog. I'm so, I, I don't know why. Have I worked that much this week? This is my second shift this week. It's Thursday. I just worked Tuesday and Thursday. I don't know. Nando, there's just been a lot going on, to be fair, for Nando's. But I know what I'll do. I'm going to find my beer opener. It's in this box somewhere. End the vlog with a beer. Cheers, Nando's again. I'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Low key, I was talking. I'm just advertising the fucking Nando's like sideways right now. And it's not even bad beer. Like it's not even that bad. It's sweet. I think it's sweeter than other beers. Like ah, oh, fuck off. I see beer. Okay, bye guys. Yeah, you wanna take a lot of touch? I want to smash. Later, I'm gonna meet your mask. Look how uninterested the audience is. <laughs> <laughs>